abajo, pero no abajo de la aguja. Lo empujas hacia abajo, lo, lo subes por debajo y, y tiene la bolita, usas la bolita y le pones presión. Este, lo que hace este, este, esta máscara tan fácil es que usamos un plato para hacer el, el patrón. Y entonces lo que van a hacer ahora los chicos es co uh, cortar el patrón. Y este es lo que vamos a usar para hacer su máscara. Y yo tengo una máscara donde usé el patrón para una cara de adulto. So, este es mi plato más grande de mi casa. Here's another one that we made. Same, same pattern. This one I just sewed the edge. And I quite didn't like that because it makes it stiff versus if I leave it unsewed, then it's more fluid and I could adjust it. So it's, it's really um, kind of like um, go as you learn what works best. And then I'm currently working on this one, which I, I did specifically to show the workshop today. And it's a nice, Um, you know, Long Beach, I think of Long Beach, you know, the cool waves. This is another nice uh, pattern. This is an adult size mask here. So I've been working on this uh, for, well, since, since March actually. The very first patterns we did were um, camouflage masks because we are big on camouflage material. We really like that. Okay, so how are we doing? We're good? Yes? on the left corner of your mask and mark where it says two and then go to where it says five so you should have two marks one at two and one at five and it's right here in the big on my big paper over here So I put my measuring tape and I'm going to mark two inches. This is my, my two inch mark. And then this is my five inch mark. This space right here, don't sew. You're going to leave it unsewn for a while. It's really important. Okay. So once you have that on your mask you have your two inch mark and your five inch mark you're gonna make sure you don't sew that part so you want to use your needle threader you want to insert it into the eye of your needle and you want to put your thread into that wiry opening of your needle threader you want to pull it down And then you want to pull out your needle threader. So that you have now a, a threaded needle. Awesome. And you just want to cut right there. And you always want to cut away from you because there's times when you're cutting um, the way you were doing it and you can actually snip your skin so always cut away from you it's like with the box cutters oh yeah right did you do it okay can you do can you insert it without a needle threader you have it okay so now you have your two ends at the end Yes? Uh, yeah. Okay, you have two ends. Sorry, just so join them. Side to side. Join your two ends. And do you want to get it close up to this one? And you want to make a loop like this. You want to make a loop. And you want to put the end through the hole 
or through the circle. I have this story with my kids. It's like the rat, this is the rabbit with its ears. This is how my kids understand. And then I'm gonna make a circle and my rabbit with its two ears wants to go into his little den. And then you wanna pull the ears out. <laughs> That's what I tell my kids. And they actually figured out how to do everything using that story. Mis niños, les digo que este es el conejito. Y hacemos un círculo, así, cruzando los, los hilos. Y el conejito se quiere meter a su madriguera. Ya que se metió, le jalamos las orejitas. Y se hace un nudo. And then, turn your path over and go back in through the back this time and maybe the size of a rice you all know what rice looks like because you help mom and grandma right or you eat it right i just had rice yesterday so that's the size of about a rice grain so i go back out and then i turn my cloth over again this is how i taught my kids at the beginning and again, the size of a grain of rice, following that line that you all did, that's your guide. You're gonna go in and out, in and out, in and out. So you have, if you look at your cloth, you're gonna have little pieces of rice in a line. I have two. How many do you have green? How many can you see? Uh, I don't know. I have to read time right now because it. Oh, depends. okay. How about you, Gray? ¿Cuántos granitos de arroz puedes ver en tu tela? Apenas dos. Todavía. Ah. Apenas dos. Dos. Muy bien. Dos está muy bien. So I have three. Our friend has two grains of rice. And we just keep your marks, your two inch and five inch mark. You know where's that? Yeah. Okay, so let's where's your mark? Okay, so here. So let's say that this is your two inch mark. And let's say this is your five inch mark. That's important, okay? So so here, from here. Will you here, do one more of those for me? Yeah, we start leaving, we start leaving at 5 and then most of our families pick us up at 6. Screech, and then you also hear the glass. You, yeah, yeah. This was that. I just heard a yeah. <laughs> Screech and glass. Yeah. You don't hear the, the glass is key because yeah. you'll if but there's a if two cars hit or if it yeah you hear that. Okay. Okay. 
how to identify your urban sounds. Uh, firework, gunshot, uh, ambulance, uh, police car, fire engine. <laughs> So you may think I got a lot of footage, but a lot of this footage, especially when you guys are sewing, I just, I time lapse it so it goes really fast. So like a five minute clip of you sewing turns into like 30 seconds of your hands moving really fast. So when, when? <laughs> You're like, I didn't know I could sew that fast. Uh, are you ready to show how you put the yeah. piece inside? I'm gonna go through it a couple of times. Okay, cool. I'll be right over. Hold on, I got a couple more stitches over here to... Okay, this is where the magic happens. Yeah, this is, it's like... Oh, you have oh, your hold, on, hold on, hold on, I'll be right over. Right. It looks like a little swing pad. So do you, what you want to do is open up your mask and you want, you're going to connect this corner with this corner. And then you want to push the center down at the towards towards the bottom. So you end up with like um, a boat, a cup, a plate. You know, kind of like visualize whatever it is that makes sense to you. Because this is basically what's going to be cover your face like this. It's just inside out right now. Does that make sense? How do I turn it like? It will happen. It's just that you're, you remember when you sewed your, um, when I had you sew at two and five inches, yours was a little bit off, but it will, it will come through anyways. So just hang tight. But for right now, so you connected this edge and what you want to do is you want to pin this edge down. You want to pin it there. And you want to make sure that your your cloth is um, connected, right? So can you bring your pins in? So you you push them down, but can you bring them back in and out to the front like that? There you go. And you want to do the same thing on the other side. This one too? Yep. Yep, okay. Got it? Okay, let me rescue mine. I don't want anybody. Now take your liner. This is what's gonna, um, this particular liner allow, does not allow any micro particles through your mask. So this is what you could add to your mask. Now, you could um, also just use three layers of cloth and it does as well as this one. So it's kind of like you can choose. I can do three layers or I could put um, this liner in there, okay? So go ahead and fold it in half as well. And do you see here where it says cut? You want to line that side up with the bottom of your blue propylene and again what do you want to do pin right pin it down so um bueno entonces lo que van a hacer es cortar el patrón para hacer el um la parte de adentro de la máscara es un material que es que no permite micro a partículas entonces igual lo van a en, insert, le van a insertar agujas para que no se mueva al cortar unas dos una a cada lado es más que suficiente and once you have that pin down go ahead and cut 
uh, around your pattern. Ya que lo hayan sujetado con sus agujas, corten alrededor excepto la parte del medio. La parte que está doblada no la corten. Don't cut this part. Okay? Y de nuevo, cuando terminen, uh, guarden sus agujas. Y al final van a tener algo así como me recuerda Batman, ¿no? O Superman. La forma de Batman o Superman. This, the shape reminds me of Batman or Superman. Dun, dun, dun. down as well. The left side and the right side. You want to pin them down so it looks like you want, this is what you want your mask to look like. It's okay. It's okay if it feels big. If the, if, if it feels that your propylene, your liner is too big, it's okay. If it feels that way. Your, your propylene liner can squish itself into the mask if it's too big. Don't worry about the size of the propylene liner. What you want to do is make sure that you pin it. Okay? And then let's see. Let me just kind of make sure that, okay, so this is your corner, right? Pin it, let's pin it down sideways. Yeah. And then you want to pin it on this side, this edge. Okay. Like that. Okay. Step we're at at the moment is closing our mask by putting the liner in at the same time. So from here, we're going to sew, sew, sew across.
just make remember to make your stitches the size of rice little stitches the little stitches prevent it, your mask from opening And with sewing is, it's a skill that requires lots of practice to master. So if you struggled a little bit, just know that all you need to do is practice. It's like when you started riding a bicycle or skating, you didn't get on the bicycle and took off. You fell, you got up, you fell, you got up, and then one day, it just happened, and you rode off into the sunset, or something like that. Okay, but you want to do, where's your stitches? Where are they? Back here. Okay, so remember, in, out, in, out, in, out. If you go around, that's a different stitch. Yeah, and so we can do that one, uh, we're gonna do that one later. But for this one, you wanna do small stitches. Yes, okay, keep going. At the very edge of your propylene. How's the other project coming? Uh, which one? The garden one? Oh, uh, so let's see. This I talked about it. I think I'm, we're having a meeting tomorrow where I'm going to know more about it. Okay. Um, so they're a family working together and they're having a hard time with their move, forward movement. Okay. So I told Trish, I was like, well, maybe we need them to be in a meeting so they can see how we move meetings forward. Mm. They're getting stuck in like, they're meeting a lot, but they're not. I was like, they kind of need to learn how to work while meeting. Like, it's great to meet, but you gotta be working while you're talking, you know. Moving forward. Yeah. Like we're talking and filming and sewing all at the same time. <laughs> Whoa. It's like a big, uh, you know, Oh yeah, yeah. It's a production. Which page? Like, on the house, right? No, I don't know. I, they just brought me in to, we just came to do math and make a video about making math. Uh, so where do you post it on? Oh, that's a good question. Where is it going to get posted? It might get posted on the website, the Boys and Girls website, but we have to, have to edit it first. In fact, here I am. Are you guys want to see both? Cuando tienes, por ejemplo, aquí, como tienes esto, lo podemos reconfigurar, acomodar, reconfigurar es acomodar de nuevo. So, así, y te fijas esta parte que cortamos, ahí está, ahí está reconfigurada. Okay, ahí está. 
¿te fijas? Entonces sigue esta línea como la tienes ahí hasta acá. Ahí vas bien, muy bien. Through the um, enclosure that you made. And you pull it out. And you now have your two ends exposed. And you make a knot. And this mask, by the looks of it, is for a, like a teen size. I made a teen size. And yours, I think yours, by the looks of it, would be for a small child. Right. Through the um, enclosure that you made. And you pull it out. And you now have your two ends exposed. And you make a knot. And this mask, by the looks of it, is for a, like a teen size. I made a teen size. And yours, I think yours, by the looks of it, would be for a small child.